Anyway, so also, fucking hell, the main card's so bloody stacked. We got Jack Manson versus Edmund Shabazian as mm-hmm. well for that. Now, the reason why I like this fight is because it's a matchup between the young upcoming superstar mm-hmm. who's only got one loss on his uh, on his stri- on his record, and then you got the you you got the veteran who is hoping to you know sort of get his status up there a little bit because Jack Manson's only last loss was to Marvin Vittori. Now we can Marvin Vittori is going to be fine for the title, mm-hmm. and the one be- his loss before that. So his last fight before that was Kelvin Gastelum, and he lost to Jaron Karanir, who Jaron Karanir is, you know, again, up on the, um, up on the ranks. The thing is, I, I really like Edmund Shabazzian's style. I like that he's young, you know, the young talent. He's only 23. His last lot fight was his loss against... Uh, Derek Brunson. Derek Brunson. And I like these kind of fights because when you've got two fighters who are both coming off losses, mm. you know, they... they, they no one wants to lose two times in a row. No. I mean, that, so they're going to put on a bit of a show. I do be, I, I do believe that this one is going to go to uh, Hermanson for predominantly um, two reasons. One, his, of course, his, his experience in fighting in general, but his experience in terms of opponents. That's a good point. Because Jack Hermanson's lost to the killers of the middleweight division. Like, we're talking... Cream of the crop. Edmund Shabazian, he's got definitely some good names that he's beaten. But Derek Bronson, where does he stand in the top 10? Is he even in the top 10? Derek Bronson, of course he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where does he stand? I believe he's just outside of the top five of the middleweight division. Yeah. I think he's around seven. Yeah. So let, me, let me just quickly check yeah. while you so, continue. So that's just my main reason why. Uh but one thing I love about Shabazzian is his finish rate is insane. In number all seven, number seven, seven. In all of his fights, only one has ever gone to. Um, in all of his uh twelve fights, only one's gone to decision. Impressive for someone only being twenty three years old. Yeah, so incredible. That's, that's just why I feel like we're going to see some fireworks here between the two. Yeah, I think that with Edwin Shabazzian, he's uh. I mean, he's got a very controversial coach being Ronda Rousey's um, ex-head coach. Mm -hmm. He's a funny, he's a funny dude. (laughs) He's a funny looking dude as well, to be fair. But um, Edmund Shabazian, he's incredible on the feet. And I think that the reason why he lost to Brunson is perhaps he was thinking a little bit too much about the the takedown of Brunson. And that's what opens up the strikes. I think that could be a potential, not a hole in Brunson's game. Oh, sorry, not Brunson, uh, Shabazian's game, but perhaps something that he, he, t- he typically only wins by TKO, right? Uh, typically on the feet or... Uh, and the, he's very good in ground and pound and things like that. However, he's only got one submission win. Uh, I think the reason why he lost to Brunson is perhaps he was thinking a little bit too much about the takedown and that's what opens up the hands. Mm-hmm. When it comes to Jack Manson, very good at the ground. And Jack Manson's actually been quite... Uh, vocal about saying he could have the skill set to beat Israel Adesanya because he said Israel Adesanya's bottom game isn't so good. Mm-hmm. My my bottom and my top game is very very good. So with Jack Manson, I you, you know I agree with your point that it's not just the volume of experience he has; it's also it, it's also the quality of the fighter he's he's fought. You know he's lost to Marvin Vittori, who's now going to fight Israel Adesanya for the second time. Right, he built beat Calvin Gastelum, who who took a very uh, you know fairly close fight uh, with Izzy, um, as well. He lost against Jared Cannonier, but he he beat uh, Ronaldo Souza coming from Strike Force. That that's a that's a big win as well. Um, he's also got uh, fought Jared Mershaw and Tiago Santos as well. So uh, again, Tiago Santos um, wasn't the best in middleweight. He was more of a he certainly found his stride at light, the light heavyweight division. But he's, Jack Manson's just fought much more notable quality fighters. Uh, I mean, Ed, Edmund Shabazian, the only two ones that properly come to mind is Brad Tavares. He's a very good middleweight, oh, yeah. as well as um, Derek Brunson. I, I definitely, I take Jack Manson in this fight. And, and I think that the, the, the reason why I think that will work, not just on the ground, but on the feet as well, is I think that Shabazian will be thinking too much about the 
getting taken down. I think he'll be, I think he'll be thinking a little bit too much, and that might be because the, of the lack of experience as well. Being twenty three, that uh, you know, it's it's tough. It's tough. I, he could definitely bounce back after his loss against Derek Brunson, but I feel like being twenty three, and uh, there's just a hole in how much experience you can accumulate in so much period of time, right? Um, Jack is just so good on the ground and he can really threaten the takedown, which means he can mix up going for the takedown and just come up to the top and, and, and smash Edmund. I think that, I think Hermanson is just, just a higher level than Edmund Shabazian at this point in time. I think if Edmund Shabazian stays, stays in the UFC, similar to, you know, Connor, Max Holloway, Calvin Gastelum, they all came into the UFC very, very young, yeah. right? Oh, as well as John Jones, right? They all came in, came into, these people just come to mind. They were very young when they started in the UFC. They're still around, and they are the best of the best in the UFC. I could see Shabazzian be one of those people one day, right? It's just too soon to be thrown at Jack Hermanson because Jack is very, very good on the ground. Correct. How? One more point, just to finish it off. Are they a fit, the actual prediction? Oh, no, 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 for the prediction, just for a more of a perspective. Mm. If Edmund, Sh- this is great experience for Edmund Shabazz. Oh, fuck yeah. Because yes. it's the highest ranked opponent he's had. Exactly. And every po- opponent you can lose. So let's say if Edmund Shabazz, in, even though they even lo- th- th- loses, in theory, I'm not saying in practice, but in theory, he can take b- he can take this back and say, hey, I'm 23 years old. I fought a guy who's been in the UFC for nearly a decade, uh, been fighting for pretty much longer than I've been, al- than I've been alive. Uh, to be honest, I, I would. Also counter that by also saying Shabazzian's kind of being kind of pushed really fast. Yeah. He lost to Derek Brunson, who's number seven. And now then he's he, fighting number five. Now he's feeling... It's, it's very strange. You and know he's what number, I mean? He's 11. Edwin Shabazzian. It's been pushed so hard. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just saying, if he wins, I mean, he ma- it makes him look like a superstar. It makes him come back and... I mean, they couldn't think of any better... That's a comeback. massive jump. Yeah, it's, it's a It's a massive jump. jump. I mean... Even though he's 11 and it's fifth, that's six places. Do you believe that they will let him go to fifth or they'll let him jump up a few spots? I think he'll let him take, him, take his place. It depends. The, the rankings are all very weird because you can jump up places and then a couple of weeks later you can jump back down. Mm-hmm. right? So they're not set in stone and it might even be also how he wins, not just who he beats. Mm-hmm. So, But I take Jack in this fight and I think Jack and Manson mm-hmm. uh, will... Beat him to a decision. 